Before Swellsey, there was Kelmberry, Ben Belsey. Here's why Travis Kelsey called his former reality show flame arrogant and the warning she had for Taylor Swift. Long before Swifties started tuning into the Kelsey Brothers' New Heights podcast in hopes of getting an update on Travis Kelsey's burgeoning romance with Taylor Swift, the E! Network realized that the NFL tight end's love life could be a valuable source of entertainment. Thus, the reality dating competition Catching Kelsey was born. On the 2016 series, 50 contestants, one from each U.S. state, vied for Kelsey's affection. Come aboard! Can't handle this dinghy all by myself. Maya Benberry represented the state of Kentucky, but her birthplace is Würzburg, Germany. One thing she had in common with Travis Kelsey was her athleticism, as she told Sarah Scoop in 2017. Benberry also excelled in the classroom, saying that she made straight A's. However, she wasn't popular with her classmates. I guess you could say I was the ugly duckling with really thick eyebrows and a little mustache. Benberry was targeted by bullies at school, but she later experienced a major glow-up that gave her a confidence boost. She tweeted in 2022, Things I'm obsessed with. Me. She landed a job at Hooters, and she was even a contestant in one of the restaurant's regional bikini competitions in 2014. She also studied elementary education at the University of Kentucky. Benberry starred in Danny Warsnop's Mexico music video the same year she appeared on Catching Kelsey. And she told Sarah Scoop that she planned on doing more acting as well as modeling and launching a fashion line after her stint on the show. Benberry decided to audition for Catching Kelsey after learning about the series' casting call from an actor friend. However, she didn't plan on leaving the show with a boyfriend. She told Sarah Scoop, Girls like me never really make it far in competitions like that, so I only packed a week's worth of things, because I knew I would be going home. In her YouTube Q&A about her time on the show, Ben Barry revealed that packing too light wasn't her only problem. What she disliked most about filming the show was that contestants weren't allowed to have phones or other devices with internet access. I've never been without music, so that to me was driving me insane. Ben Barry and the other contestants also weren't allowed to leave the house. This rule intensified their rivalry not just because they were cooped up together with few sources of entertainment, but because the only way they could leave was if Travis Kelsey invited them on one of his group dates. But despite what viewers at home saw, the contestants didn't just spend their time away from Kelsey, stirring up drama amongst themselves. I drank white wine with Flexi, we gossiped about our lives, or I took naps, so that's honestly all that I really did in my free time. There were some early red flags that Kelsey and Benberry weren't going to work out. In one episode of Catching Kelsey, Kelsey decided that Benberry was starting to feel a bit cocky, so he leaned down as if he was going to kiss her, only to leave her hanging with her mouth hanging open. He later explained the kind of messed up reasoning behind his makeout fakeout. Her confidence has gotten a little too high and it's getting pretty arrogant. When it came time for Kelsey to choose between the final two contestants, it seemed as if Benberry's only remaining competition, Veronica Harwood, was going to win. But this is reality TV we're talking about, so Kelsey had to come up with some reason to make the choice that viewers least expected. Benberry believed that the personality trait Kelsey kept complaining about actually gave her an edge over the competition. She told Sarah Scoop, Realistically, minorities never win things like catching Kelsey, and my confidence is what kept me around. Lauren looks like a dog who, like, scoots their little butthole on the floor to get their poop off. Benberry wasn't always on her best behavior on Catching Kelsey and really had nice things to say about her competition. There are girls in this house that I feel like are BBBs. And bees are bland, basic bitches. On a reality show, a little clever editing is all it takes to make a person fit into the classic villain mold, and Benberry believes this is what happened to her. I'm not regretting anything about it, but I do kind of hate the fact that they only show that negative side. According to Benberry, there was plenty of footage of her playing nice with her fellow contestants that was left on the cutting room floor. She told Sarah Scoop that some of her most genuine romantic moments with Travis Kelsey also didn't make the cut. However, Benberry said she was told by the show's producers that they didn't want viewers to see her win coming. Benberry feared that the heavy focus on her worst moments would hurt her professionally. She told the Lexington Herald leader, It's frustrating. I went on the show initially to promote myself in a way, and my image on the show isn't how I am in real life. While discussing catching Kelsey during a January 2017 appearance on The Dan Patrick Show, Kelsey admitted that he never found love. However, he didn't dump Benberry immediately. Ahead of the premiere, he confirmed to E! News that he and Benberry were still happily dating. 
but the identity of the winner had to remain a secret until the finale. The secrecy sometimes sucked the romance right out of being in a new relationship. Ben Barry said in her YouTube Q&A that date nights usually involved Kelsey going out to eat and then bringing her leftovers. And if they did go out, it was in disguise. But then we eventually ended up sneaking around. Um, I wore like a hoodie and sunglasses and baggy clothes. And During her December 2016 YouTube Q&A, Ben Barry said that although she and Kelsey had called it quits, they were still on friendly terms at that time. But just two months later, she told Sarah Scoop that their friendship was no longer intact. Ben Barry explained that she had been bombarded with hateful messages from Catching Kelsey viewers, many of which were racist in nature. Ben Barry claimed that Kelsey refused to defend her from the trolls. She told Sarah Scoop, He didn't want his fans to give him backlash for addressing all of the hatred and racism. His response was, Maya, you're a strong black confident woman, and America wouldn't care what my white would have to say. Ben Barry's course of action wasn't to shut the trolls up by shutting down all of her social media accounts. Instead, she used the platforms to do everything she could to change people's perceptions of her. On the Pivot podcast, Kelsey confessed that the real reason he agreed to do Catching Kelsey was for the money. He decided to make the best of the situation by doing what he could to make the show enjoyable to watch instead of trying to find love. Well, love for anything more than gym equipment, at least. The problem is, is I actually do love the elliptical. While chatting with the Hill star Kristen Cavallari on her Let's Be Honest podcast in September 2023, the Kansas City Chiefs player explained that by the time they'd filmed for a day, he figured love wasn't in the cards. And I was like, yeah, there's really nothing here, um, but we can make a show out of it for sure. Despite realizing that there was zero potential for a real love connection, Kelsey still had to pick a winner, and Ben Barry clearly saw her victory as more than just a twist ending. In December 2016, she was tweeting about how she and Kelsey would make the cutest curly-headed ginger babies ever. Ben Barry's ginger baby dreams were dashed in May 2017 when TMZ Sports reported that Kelsey had moved on with model Kayla Nicole sometime in November 2016, which is when the Catching Kelsey finale aired. Ben Barry viewed this as evidence of an overlap between Kelsey's relationships with her and Nicole. She left her fans to fill in the blanks when she wrote in the since-deleted tweet, When you and your ex broke up five months ago, but you find out via social media that he has supposedly been in another relationship for six. In a September 2023 TikTok video, Lexi Noel, another former Catching Kelsey contestant, said that she and Ben Barry had remained friends for a short time after filming Wrapped. But she wasn't buying her ex pal's allegations and made a shocking one of her own. From what I can remember very clearly, she actually cheated on him with a very well known artist. Ben Barry told Sarah Scoop that she was done looking for love on television after her experience on Catching Kelsey. But in 2018, she appeared on X on the Beach. Viewers learned a lot about Ben Barry's relationship history when a trio of her exes showed up to see if they could stir up some old feelings. And one of them also stirred up a lot of trouble. The guy in question was Kareem Peterson, who used to play defensive back for Western Kentucky University. On the MTV reality series, Ben Barry learned that their relationship had started like the plot of a 90s teen comedy, with a bet. You were just a bet. He bet the football team that he could get you. Instead of rekindling her romance with any of her former flames, Ben Barry found a new spark with Are You The One star Malcolm Drummer, although that didn't last either. After Kelsey was linked to Taylor Swift in September 2023, Ben Barry swiftly decided to insert herself into the narrative. In an interview with Inside Edition, she issued a warning for Swift regarding Kelsey. Like the saying goes, once a cheater, always a cheater. Ben Barry also did a little damage control by claiming that she had Swift's best interests at heart, telling Daily Mail, Taylor seems like such a fun girl with a beautiful spirit, so I wish her the best of luck, but I wouldn't be a girl's girl if I didn't advise her to be smart. I don't feel any way about her dating Travis. It's cute. I mean, I had him first, so. She didn't badmouth Swift, but she likely still had Swifty seeing red when she attacked Kelsey's character. I feel like Travis is a narcissist, so most narcissists don't change. Travis Kelsey hasn't directly responded to Ben Barry's cheating claims. However, one source claimed to Page Six that the two, quote, weren't even together long enough for him to cheat on her. Despite Kelsey's silence, Ben Barry was convinced that he was trying to provoke her. She also found it unfair that Kelsey hadn't faced the same amount of scrutiny she had whenever he talked about his experience filming Catching Kelsey. She tweeted, 
It's crazy how this man has been doing interviews and podcasts about the show for years. But when I make a comment about it, I'm wrong. The hypocrisy is real. If he can speak on his experience, why can't I? Swifties are aggressive. Very negative, very hypocritical. While Ben Barry, who now works as a life coach and brand consultant, denied that she was chasing clout by speaking out about Kelsey, she did share another tweet around this time that she had a new show in the pipeline. Ben Barry didn't reveal whether it was a dating series, but she seemingly hasn't given up on love after fumbling Kelsey.